everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be talking about the difference between ventilation and oxygenation. If you're new here, my name is Anna and I'm a critical care registered nurse. I did a video right before this one defining many respiratory terms that you are going to hear in this video. So if you haven't seen that one, I would highly recommend going to the link in the description and watching that video first to give you a good foundation for some of the concepts we are going to be discussing in this video. As you're watching this video, if you do learn something new or you think about something in a different way, please give this video a like, as well as consider subscribing to my channel to not miss any content like this from me in the future. So let's get started with ventilation. What is ventilation? Very simply put, ventilation refers to the mechanics of moving air in and out of the lungs. This is an exchange between the air inside the lungs and outside the lungs. And remember that the air outside the lungs could be the ambient room air that we are breathing now, or it could be air delivered to the patient through mechanical ventilation. Most importantly, ventilation controls the removal of carbon dioxide from the body. How do we measure ventilation? Ventilation is measured as minute ventilation in mechanically ventilated patients. And this is calculated by multiplying the tidal volume times the respiratory rate. If you want to change your patient's carbon dioxide level to better ventilate them, you'll do this by either modifying the rate or the tidal volume. Let's move on to oxygenation. What is oxygenation? Very simply put, oxygenation is the means of getting oxygen to a certain endpoint. It is the process of providing a greater oxygen supply to the patient's lungs and therefore to their circulation. This is accomplished through two different processes, diffusion and perfusion. Diffusion is gas movement from an area of high to low concentration. This can happen either in the internal tissues between cells and capillaries or externally between alveoli and lung capillaries. This process is also known as respiration. Perfusion simply refers to blood flow to tissues and organs. In mechanically ventilated patients, oxygenation can be optimized through adjusting the FiO2, the percentage of oxygen blended into the patient's air supply, as well as through adjusting the PEEP which if you remember is the positive end expiratory pressure. And PEEP is that baseline amount of pressure remaining in the lungs after exhalation. To summarize all of this information, ventilation and oxygenation are distinct yet highly interdependent physiological processes. Ventilation is the delivery system that presents oxygen rich air to the alveoli. Oxygenation is the process that delivers the oxygen rich air in the alveoli to the tissues to maintain cellular activity throughout the body. Both of these systems of ventilation and oxygenation must work well independently in order for them to work well together to sustain life. 